Hello! Here we are again. My name is Michael. You're watching the Compendium of Discomfort, and yeah, recently this channel was basically became basically public. Some people subscribed, thank you. Some more people even watched at least parts of the videos, especially the baby assassins are surprisingly the most popular. Um, yeah, I guess this, uh, where's episode 2 helped a bit. If you want to know where episode 2 of Baby Assassins Every Day uh, is, uh, you can watch the video. I explain the situation as far as I understand it. Um, but here we will continue a video that we did before this episode 2 video. And we talked about Sayonara Girls. And the director made a second movie that's called uh, Karankoi or Karang Karankoi. I'm not sure how about how the, the, the English pronunciation works. So same problem as in that video. The Japanese title is easier. It's Karankoi no Hana. So it's a flower name, and this flower is relatively important in this. A short movie, it's only 39 minutes long. The director is Shun Nakagawa, who has done this movie and Sayonara Girls. And let's mention maybe the three most famous uh, people who appear in this movie. One is Mio Imada, who, um, for example, was in the My Hero Academia movie or in the two, so in the animated movie, in the two Tokyo Revengers 2 movies or. Uh, Tokyo Avengers 1 as well, and uh, some more. So you might have seen her. Then we have uh, Sho Kasamatsu, who was in uh, Ruroni Kenshin, the final. So, and here in this uh, Netflix show, uh, Follow Us. So, pretty possible that you saw him. And another actress, uh, Haruna Hori probably the most likely that you've seen her, because she was in Shoplifters, probably not a very big role, but uh, she was there. I still haven't watched Shoplifters. Why haven't I watched Shoplifters? I need to catch up with my uh, Kode Eda stuff. I've watched some, but not that many. Anyway, but we're not here to talk about Kode Eda. We're here to talk about um, this flower movie. And as far as I understood the situation, I just uh, realized I don't have anything to show you, no pamphlet, no poster, nothing. So uh, let me show you the uh, Saka website where you can watch it soon, soonish, probably in a couple of days. I forgot the release date. I think it's the 20th. Anyway, um, it will be available sooner or later. And this movie, as far as I understand, is very important for the director who wants to teach a little bit about LGBTQ+, and um, that was a little bit what made me a little bit skeptical about the movie. Not that I have any issues with the theme itself. I just sometimes worry that these movies get too preachy to on the nose or as a finger risen to the sky a bee like this and um, I mean it's, it's important to transport this message and I see the necessity but if a movie doesn't have much else to offer I'm sometimes like a little bit bored because it keeps preaching things to me that I already know and I completely agree with so I was a little bit worried that this movie is made for high school kids who don't know anything about LGBTQ and now should learn about it and besides that maybe yeah may, I, I worry that it may not have much to offer besides that and uh, to just take this uh, to just um, answer this question right now, uh, it is a very, very good movie besides this topic and besides its um, 
at first, just at first, a little bit um, seemingly prettiness. So it um, takes a very different road from what I expected and it's actually in the end very very good. So um, to give my rating now another 5 of 5 out of 5 and um, yeah, it's a very good movie that so much. Now if you don't want to know more, if that's enough information, like it's very good and it's about LGBTQ and you watch everything that um, helps representing people who who identify as such. If you uh, want to see movies like that, then it's an absolute recommendation. If you uh, have any issues with this topic, maybe you should watch it anyway. Maybe you can learn something, because seemingly you need to learn something. Um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the story. Um, it's basically a very simple story. It's a short movie, like I said, uh, 39 minutes. So it gets to the point very quickly. And um, there's a, a class where one teacher is missing. So another teacher comes and gives them a lecture about LGBT, uh, LGBTQ. And um, at some point after that, they're a little bit confused. Like, why do we get this special lesson um, and the other classes don't so they uh, suspect that someone in their class might be homosexual or something similar and uh, they try to investigate and stuff turns bad and yeah that's so much without spoilers and everything i will talk a little bit more about the story later and why I think this movie is uh, really good because I think the best thing just happens at the end. So a um, little bit more about that later. Um, what I think in general is good here, like the movie starts with this very, yeah, with this scene where the teacher gives them a lesson and I felt like, oh my god, I hope this is not the movie because um, that was what I expected and um, worried about. Just preaching and explaining that people who consider themselves uh, as LGBTQ, you know, that pe these people are normal and we shouldn't see them as not normal and um, we should just treat them as uh, humans, which should be common sense, should be totally normal, but uh, seemingly it's not and uh, i always feel like why why do we have to tell people about this why do we have to tell people that these things are completely normal i, I, I don't get it so that's always my 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 problem why 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 do they get educated about these things that should be completely accepted and normal and nobody should even think should, should, nobody should have to think about these things yeah but uh it's still a big issue and it's still a big issue in this movie and yeah this teacher gives them a lesson and from there on everything goes wrong and the movie focuses on a group of four girls who um have a pretty good uh, friendship and so then there are two boys who are like yeah like high school boys are not very nice uh, pretty much like ooh. and yeah they, they start to investigate and try to find out what's going on here and what I like about this movie is that basically the more people try to help, the worse the situation gets because even the people who want to help don't know how to help and basically just do everything wrong and everything um, goes down and uh, becomes very, very depressing. And I think to show how all this goes wrong helps more to educate and make people feel this... Uh, pain and suffering um, helps much more to to get the message across than just telling them here this is nothing bad this is there's nothing wrong um, you don't need to be scared or you don't need to discriminate these people if you just tell them 
like, yeah, okay, you tell me, but I have no experience. Like, he, here's one, one scene where the protagonist, the, one of the four girls, talks to her mother after this lesson. She asks, her, like, how, how do you, like, handle being with people like that? The mother just says, I don't know, I never met anyone. And um, that's already quite telling. So, yeah, I, I think by just showing the situation escalate even though some people try to help is very efficient effective and um yeah just tells you how bad the situation is if people are just ignorant and stupid and hate for no reason and uh, yeah that works very well and it's very depressing um, but very good like i said and yeah, let's uh, talk a little bit about the spoilers and um, yeah, basically, like I said, as I find out that one of the girls is uh, a lesbian and um, she's in love with the protagonist, pretty obviously, and yeah, even the protagonist seems to understand that it's no problem and she doesn't need to be scared of her friend because like she knows her friend and there has never been any issue and they have a very good friendly relationship and why should she now suddenly be scared like nothing changed it's the same person that she uh, liked before why shouldn't she like her now and um, but still when someone wrote on the board that she is a lesbian she's like no that's not true and uh, just um, wipes it off and uh, basically causes more damage by um, yeah I, I guess the, the better solution would be yeah who cares well like why is that a big deal well like I don't know if she is a lesbian or not but why would I care if she is one yeah cool if she's not a lesbian, cool, still the same person would be, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm not in that situation, I don't know what actually is better or not, but, uh, yeah, what I have guessed would be better, but, yeah, she goes to the board and wipes it off and tries to protect her friend, but um, obviously makes it worse, and what I think is a really brilliant about this movie is then the end. We see the class and this um, girl who has been outed as a lesbian is not there anymore. More anymore. We don't know what happened. Like the teacher calls her name, and she's not there to respond. So now she's just absent. We don't know if anything bad happened or she's just at home. We have no idea. I mean, something bad happened, but, like, death or something, we don't know. And um, from there, the end credits start, and we hear a dialogue where she talks to the teacher about her situation, and the teacher handles it very well in that moment, makes it worse later by trying to help her, and... Um, yeah, basically, she just listens to this girl explaining to her how great she feels when she's with this um, other girl that she's in love with. And in the end, she, she leaves the room and is super happy and then the movie is over. Like, we, we, we get basically the backstory for the whole situation and understand um, how this started from a very, very nice happy point and then people tried to fix it and it ended in a catastrophe or a possible catastrophe and i think just showing that like i said is so much more effective than just telling treat these people like other people as well they are very normal um, which they are obviously but um yeah i guess that's the main point that made me in the end like this movie so much 
At first I was like, yeah, yeah, this is a lesson. I mean, the, the lesson in the beginning is as preachy and annoying because a real lesson would be like that. That's how people would do that. I remember at my school back in the day we had a dormitory and there was a Jewish girl who was um, terrorized by neo-Nazis and at some point the students and the school decided that we need to help her and they made a big event out of it and the, of, of course it was very similar like this girl was so ashamed that suddenly everything was about her and um, yeah, everybody was just talking and talking and oh, it was really terrible and the worst thing was before she went to the police because of these incidents and um, the police didn't really take her seriously but uh, that police officer who treated her like that suddenly came to this event to give a big speech on right-wing extremism and the problems these students cause and it was a, a horror show it was so bad similar to this movie like people tried to help and basically just made everything worse it's a horrible horror so um yeah i hope uh, this movie gets its audience um i, I think the, the length is probably intended to fit into a school lesson i guess it's supposed to be shown at schools which i can only support and uh, yeah like i said it's very very good um no matter how you feel about this movie you should just watch it and um give it a try and just uh treat people with respect why do i have to say stuff like that why isn't it obvious that we should treat people with respect and uh, should discriminate people it's so weird i don't get it anyway um be friendly be respectful and uh, watch a good movie every now and then <laughs>